I'm so honored to be here. The first piece I'm going to do is called Shoes of Your Choice. I first performed this in New Jersey 48 years ago. And haven't our shoes served us well? an object poem. <laughs> These are my formal shoes. I've had them for many years. And it reminds me a lot of the time when I was growing up. And I had then, at that time, at 14, I had a size 11 foot. And in Scarsdale, New York, there was no way to fit an 11 foot. So my parents would go in yearly into uh, New York City to something called tall size shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, they would buy me uh, some, some shoes. Uh, I'm very uh, delighted to say that many tall women I meet now have no trouble to, to buy a decent sized shoe. Uh, the salesman, when I went to buy these shoes, said, showing me a pair of very ugly pumps, young woman, someone in your position cannot be fussy. <laughs> I'd like to read <clears throat> just a little of a poem called The House of Dust, which uh, is one of the first computer poems ever done, <laughs> if not the first computer poem, so I'm going to read you a little of this. <laughs> uh, this was programmed by a wonderful composer in California, James Tenney. A House of Brick by a river, using candles, inhabited by children and old people. A house of tin in a hot climate, using electricity, inhabited by little boys. A house of wood on an island, using natural light, inhabited by women wearing all colors. A house of discarded clothing in dense woods, using electricity inhabited by collectors of all types. A house of brick in a green, mossy terrain, using natural light, inhabited by all races of men wearing predominantly red clothing. A house of dust in a deserted airport, using candles inhabited by collectors of all types. A house of weeds on an island using electricity inhabited by friends and enemies. A house of discarded clothing in a deserted airport using all available lighting inhabited by people who eat a great deal. A house of roots in a green, mossy terrain, using electricity inhabited by lovers. This is a bean turner. 
It's made of flax and azuki beans. It's the invention I have for sound poetry. Thank you.